Hello, hello, guys. How are you guys? ¿Cómo están? ¿Por qué no me hablan, chicos? ¿Qué les pasa? Why? Tenemos miedo de que nos pregunte de un solo. ¿Por qué? Ay, ¿por qué se asustan? No, hombre, tranquilas. It's going to be pretty easy, I promise to you. Ok, guys. Um, it's going to be like this. Okay. Eh. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know, okay? All right, guys, perfect. So, today, because it's our last day together, as you already know, we are going to make like an exam together. Uh, the exam is going to be divided into parts, the questions that I gave you yesterday and the part that you were going to prepare. So, we will do that. Um, lo que voy a hacer es que voy a armar breakup rooms y me voy a meter en los breakup rooms de cada uno de ustedes para estar hablando, ¿ok? Con ustedes. So that is what I'm going to do. Luego, después de la primera mitad de la clase, vamos a hacer el feedback, vamos a hacer preguntas y demás. ¿Ok? Solo, permítame un segundo, chicos, permítame. Sorry, guys, but I'm doing an emergency. Bien. Okay, guys, perfect. So uh, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you five questions. And here, well, this was with the last ones. So, solo voy a hacerle cinco preguntas, super fáciles, normales. Eh, les voy a pedir la cámara, como ya saben. Eh, y van a hacer las preguntas. Luego pasamos a la otra activity. Okay? Do you have any questions? No? Okay, you have 10 seconds to answer each question. So I will create a breakup rooms. And please, guys, let's go so we can start. Hello, hello. Okay, girls, I'll start with you. Hey, teacher. See? ¿Sí? Si por alguna cuestión no se escucha bien es porque it's raining now. Ok, I will start estoy... with you for that. Voy a, comenzar con... Voy a comenzar contigo por eso. Ok. Ok. Number one, meaning of the verb to be. Ser, estar o parecer. Tell me five abilities that you have. Eh, I'm cleaning, I'm organizing, um, I'm empathic, very empathic. Um, I like all in order. Um, and, and this. <laughs> okay. Tell me one thing that you never do. Uh, swimming in the ocean. Okay. Tell me one characteristic from a yes, no question. Uh, the answer is with the name, yes or no. Uh, other is the, the, this answer is short. Mm -hmm, good. Tell me one uh, simple present statement.
Simple present. Yes. One example. Teacher. Ah, okay. Um, I eat cookie. I eat. I eat cookie. Okay. Last one. Tell me three parts from your house. Uh, there is a pencil? No, parts. Parte de la casa. Ah, ah okay. A uh, bedroom and cookie kitchen, pardon. Kitchen and uh, Bedroom, kitchen, washroom, bathroom. Okay. Good. Yeah. Perfect, Hazel. So thank you so much. Good job. Okay, amazing. Thank you. Let's go with Hilma. Thank you. Hilma. Yes. Meaning of the verb to be? Ser, estar, o parecer. Tell me one thing that you always do. I always take a take my take a shower. Tell me one characteristic from a WH question. Uh, do you use in WH word? Tell me one uh, example using the verb to be. I am studying English at night. Good. Last one. Tell me one uncountable noun. Uh, sugar. Okay, perfect, Hilma. Ten. Thank you. Amazing. Good job. Imelda. Tell me the four seasons. No sé, teacher. Okay. Meaning of the verb to be. Ser, estar, o parecer. Tell me one ability that you have. Uh, I, uh, I drive. Tell me one Part from your house. The door. One part. Uh, four. One part. Okay. Last one. Tell me one thing that you never do. No sé, teacher. Okay, tenemos que seguir estudiando, okay? Otherwise, pretty good okay. job. Thank you, girls. Hello, hello. 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 Okay, let's start with Vane. Vane, ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, Vane. Meaning of the verb to be. Um, do and das. No, meaning of the verb to be. Um, un ejemplo. Um, meaning. Do. Okay, I, next, one. No. next one. Tell me five abilities that you have. I can dance. I can cook. I can paint hair. I can do nice, I can drive. Amazing. Tell me three parts from your house. Me la puedes repetir. Tell me three parts from your house. Um, table, kitchen. No, three parts, tres partes. Um, bedroom, kitchen, um, living room. Okay. Tell me three uncountable nouns. 
countable. Uh, X, uncountable. Uh, uncountable. Sugar, salt, and water. Okay. Last one. Tell me one thing that you never do. I never go running. I never? Mm -hmm. I never go running. Go running. Okay, perfect, Bunny. Just the first one. Ser, estar, o parecer. Te pregunté mínimo. Okay, good. Uh, thank you. Me okay, thank you. Sally, mm -hmm. let's go with you. Ready? Ready. Okay. For the, tell me the four seasons. Mm -hmm. Me la puede repetir. Tell me the four seasons. No, no, Jamie. Okay. Tell me one yes, no question. Uh... Ay, no. Ay, lo siento, a mí se me ha olvidado. Okay. Tell me meaning of the verb to be. Uh, be, be, same. Mm -hmm. Next one. Tell me one characteristic from a WH question. Uh, are they short or long answer? Uh, they answer are yes or no. Okay, last one. Tell me three abilities that you have. I can drive. I can... Um, dance? I can't be sleeping. Okay, thank you, Sally. Solamente tenemos que trabajar en esas, porque tú el módulo me demostraste que sí lo sabes, okay? Solamente hay que estudiar, ¿sí? Thank you. Christy, let's go with you. Okay. Okay. Tell me one characteristic from a yes, no question. Mm. Uh, son para, o sea, la verdad, no sé cómo decirse en, en inglés. Try to. Pero, Sin el cuaderno. Ah, uh, sorry, no, no lo recuerdo. Okay. Tell me one thing that you can't do. I can't. I can't, I can't sing. Sing. I can okay. sing. I can. Good, good. Okay, okay tell me the fa tell me the difference between a house and an apartment. Um, in apart apartments, I uh, they are elevator. Um. Uh, I don't know. Okay. And... Next one. Tell me one characteristic from a WH question. De nuevo, otra que le diga características de la W question. De la WH, se pregunta de la yes, no. Ah, okay. Ah, bueno, pues me confundí, pensé que me estaba preguntando esta. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, Pues la verdad en inglés no se la podría decir, no recuerdo, solo sé que estas tienen como para respuestas más largas y la doble, la yage, yage no, es para respuestas más cortas. Ok, last one. Tell me the four seasons. Four seasons, ¿qué es season? Las estaciones. Ah, summer. Mmm. Cool, cool, no sé, no, no, no sé. Ok, thank you. Igual, Cristi, te lo sabes porque en español sí me lo sabes decir. Ok, 
solamente es repasarlo un poquito más en inglés Sí, en inglés, para aprender sí. un poquito el vocabulario, ¿ok? Porque la característica, si yo te le digo, ok, decímelas en español, me la vas a poder decir. Pero la idea es hacerlo en inglés, ¿verdad? For you can practice. Otherwise, pretty good job. Ok, thank you. Gracias, chicas. Hello, hello. Bien. Hello, teacher. Let's start. Hello. Is ready? Yes? No. <laughs> okay, let's start with no. Nuria. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are easy. Okay, teacher. Let's start. Nuria, okay. number one, meaning of the verb to be. The meaning of the verb to be is ser, estar, o parecer. Tell me one characteristic from a WH question. Uh, the, a WH question, a specific question, and other a characteristic is um, uh, always have a long answer. Thank you. Number three, tell me three parts from your house. Um, three parts or three parts um there is a garden there is a bathroom there is a living room thank you next one tell me three abilities that you have i can dance i can play soccer I can ride, ride a motorcycle. Tell me three uncountable nouns. And the love, uh, sugar, water, air, tea, Good. coffee. Tell me one simple present example. Uh, simple present. She plays soccer. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Nuria. Ten. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Jose David. Hello. Hello. Good night. Good night. Ready? Ready. Tell me one characteristic from a yes no question. Do. Do. Is uh huh no no <laughs> meaning of the verb to be ser estar o parecer tell me one characteristic from a from a wh question Information of the place. Next one. Tell me one thing that you can't do. Can't. 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 I can't. Play soccer. I can't. Room, I can play. I play Kings Gamer. Okay, next one. Tell me one, yes, uh, tell me one, uh, simple present statement. No? No. Okay, we have to try to memorize them and remind them, okay? Tenemos que tratar de recordarlo, de trabajar en eso, okay? Y estar más en clases. Thank you. Uh, Freddy, let's go with you. Tell me three countable nouns. Countable. Countable. Uh, 
कौन सा कमा कौन सी थ्री कांसेप्ट नाउंस आ ¿No? Contable son, ¿verdad? Sí, lo que fue. Eh... Ok, siguiente. No, no me acuerdo. <laughs> Meaning of the verb to be. Ser, estar o parecer. Tell me one characteristic from a yes-no question. Short answer and short question. Tell me one characteristic from a WH question. Star, what, where, why, who. Okay. Tell me one simple present statement. I work in city. Again? I work in city. Okay, thank you. Okay, for yes. You know, estuviste en clases, so asuma de que sueles por los nervios, right? So I hope that you keep yeah. working on that. Danny, let's go with you. Tell me three abilities that you have. Mm. I cleaning, I am baptized, and I'm, and I'm organized. Tell me one thing that you can't do. Baking. Tell me one example using the verb to be. She is a doctor. Tell me one example using simple present. I simple present. I'm I'm a studying. No. I'm Tell me the difference between house and apartment. Um the house uh a veces tienen, eh, por lo general son de, de one or two floors, the apartment and a lot of much floors. Ok, thank you. Ok, Dani, mm. bien. Solamente que cuando te dije simple present me dijiste ING. Ok, just that, but otherwise pretty good. Ok, thank you guys. Vámonos otra vez a la sala principal, please. Okay, guys, just everybody's coming back. Yeah. All right, guys, perfect. So um, it was good. I saw that some of you still have some issues regarding some questions. So my advice for you is try to keep working on that. Okay, bien. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Les voy a dar siete minutos para que terminen de escribir o repasen su párrafo en inglés, el que se les dejó, okay? Se so, le puede dar siete minutitos para que lo hagan y luego vamos a comenzar, ¿ok? Good. So let's start. Y no me quitan las cámaras. No sé por qué no los veo. Sé qué pasa ahí con las cámaras. Ok, thank you. Son siete minutos, chicos, para que. Repasemos el párrafo. So keep working.
Okay, chicos, ¿ya están listos? Everybody's ready? Yes? Okay, perfect. So I will start with uh, Christy, please. Cristina? Sí, hola. Yes, let's start with you. Este, fíjense que no, no escuché la tarea, la verdad no, 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 no supe, de cuando usted dijo que íbamos a leer un texto, la verdad me quedé así como que, ¿qué? Okay. Sorry. Ok, uh, ¿quiénes la hicieron, chicos? Solo para saber. Yes, ok. Uh, let's start with Freddy, then. Hello, good evening. I'm Freddy Rufo Gutierrez Mejia. My experience before is excellent. I have learned new vocabulary. Uh, to use cans or cans. Uh, different jobs, police, actor, uh, fire fire. Uh, different food are created new drinks and time frequency always never sometimes often and the use simple present establish question and question and learning watching movies and uh, that will help me a uh, much in learning in English. Okay, Freddie, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Danny, let's go with you. No, teacher, no la hice. Okay. Eh, si quieren, en el caso de Danny y Christy, los que no lo hicieron, empiezan a escribirlo. Okay, su feedback relacionado al módulo. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, let's go with Mayeli. Good evening, teacher and classmate. Um, I am in this four week. I learned many things about English and I learned many topics. Thank you so much, teacher, for teach with a lot of patience and, and dedication and we we will miss you and thank you so much for everything okay thank you Mayel. appreciate it thank you let's go with Sally hi miss uh, my name is Elena I am 22 years old. Um, the time living taking classes, I feel like um, I'm learning a lot. I like your classes. Before it was hard for me to speak English, and now I feel more confident to speak. Your teaching methods have been quite uh, useful for me. The extra tasks have helped me. A uh, lot. It motivates me to keep learning more. I have appreciated it a lot. Thank you, thank you, Miss, uh, for a uh, time spin. Thank you, thank you so much, Sela. I really appreciate it too. Okay, thank you. Uh, Imelda. No lo he hecho, teacher, todavía. Ok, espero le estamos trabajando, igual que Christy y Dani. 
Okay. Yeah. Catherine? Good night, teacher. In this module, I feel that I have learned more. Now I understand um, how to ask questions um, in the present simple tense and how to use the verb to be is the what are characteristics um, characteristics of the WH question of well of how I learn at birth for example sometimes never always um of often in others say such a formulas in for example there are there is in singular uh, for plural etc i really like uh, the activities and dynamics uh, because i learn i feel very happy um I because I understand more and dedicated teacher I talk me I can hear very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Kathy. I really appreciate it. Chrissy, tú me habías levantado la mano antes de que antes que Hazel, permitíme Hazel. Christy? Este sí quería saber nada más de qué se iba a hablar, pero escuché que la compañera simplemente habló cosas que entendió del módulo aprendió en eh, este es módulo? el feedback del módulo de cómo te sentiste qué aprendiste qué no aprendiste y demás ok perfecto gracias ok Hazel tell me es que como que ya viene el agua entonces ok ok let's go with you eh, eh, y, y go to the cerro verde uh, I don't. I don't stop for watering my my text. How how feel with my English now? But first, I like to tell you thank you, teacher. Thank you for all for 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 the class. For you make classes dynamic and funny, and I hope to you see you again in the future. Now I feel with my English, I feel much trust for talking in English. I feel, I feel so happy. For all, all the I'm learning with you. Eh, ese texto sí ya lo tenía. Por eso ese sí lo voy a. Okay. Um, este quiero ver este era. Um, ah, you get up a dream that I go that I throw and I had boring. So now I'm trying to make it real. I feel so nostalgic, but so okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Okay, let's go eat Jose. Okay, thank you, Hazel. Tranquila, calmate y de ahí, okay, tranquila. Jose. Good night. I'm learning many topics, where to be, simple personal question, ask question, information of place, many methods, what is you struggle, uh, dynamic, uh, uh, to, Dream. 
Ah, yo... Eh, um, house en apartment. Thank you. Okay, thank you. ¿Quién me falta? ¿Me falta Gilma? Lo acabo de escribir. Ok, let's go. Uh, in my case, in this model, learn more vocabulary when I do glossary in the homeworks. For me, it's very important because this is my third opportunity to study English. And I think that uh, is my debility. I don't have vocabulary in English when I want to speak only English or speak someone. Also, I learn other topics important to speak English, how WH question, adjectives, part or house or apartment, etc. Thank you so much, teacher, for your help and explain each topic of the best way. Sorry. Thank you, Hilma. I really appreciate it too, okay? Bien, eh, con las chicas que me faltaban, Imelda, Dani, Cristi, las escucho. Ok. En this model, I learned how to use the verb to be and can and do and does and WH question and yes, no question. And that's it. Ok. Thank you, Christy. Appreciate it. Eh, quiero ver, Dani. Eh, good evening, everyone. My expectations were better than I try. I learned new topics and I meet new people. I learned to formulate questions with WH, eh, to use the do and the does. Yesterday, that, that you teacher dictate the question, I feel that my ears uh, uh, capture a lot of vocabulary, and I feel that I still knew the the language and practice a lot of a lot of grammar, and I feel happy because I feel that I am one step closer to knowing a language that is that is known to me. Okay, perfect, Dani. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Me falta Imelda. Eh, teacher, yo lo acabo de hacer también. Okay. Bueno, I, le I learned about the verb to be or to send it something. New for me, and um, how to use the is at the end of the verse. And I would, would like to say that I would like to have the ability that you have to teach more people. people. Okay. That's it? It's, it's all. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, guys, thank you so much for the words. I appreciate that you learn a lot. So right now, I just want to do the last activity with you, and later I'm going to give you my, feed, uh, my feedback to you, okay? So, en este momento lo que van a hacer, chicos, es que van a buscar cinco palabras o cinco adjectives en los cuales van a describir el módulo okay, relacionado a su aprendizaje. Entonces, les voy a dar cinco minutitos, cuatro minutos para que lo hagan. Cinco palabras. Con la explicación del por qué esas cinco palabras, ¿ok? Let's go.
teacher. <laughs> yes, tell me. De nuevo, creo que eh, mi texto ya tenía okay. los adjetivos. <laughs> How feel with my English now? I am sorry. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Okay. First, first, like tell you thank you, teacher, for all for motivation for make class dynamic and very funny. <laughs> Thanks for this. I hope to see you again in the future. I feel with much crush for talking English. I feel so happy for all the learning that I got. You get up a dream that I throw I had worried. So now I'm, I'm trying to make it real. I feel so nostalgic, but with much work. For it me the word if I want. I love the English and thanks for making me love him more. You're a very good teacher. Thank you. Hi, thank you, Hazel. I really appreciate it too, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, perfect. I wanna hear the five words that you got. Okay, Hilma, what are the five words that you got? So las cinco palabras. Tengo cuatro. A ver. When there were topics that I y la otra okay good thank you Hilma Sele solo cuatro tengo mis a ver interesting and fun because it gives us exercise to think and play with the means difficult because it is for me to speak and for the uh, dictado, which one? Dictado. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Dictados, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Disculpe, Larry, creo que la oigo. Dictados. Dictados, dictated. Dictated, ajá. Uh -huh. Desafiante, eh, algo así. Challenging. Challenging. Because it makes me put more batteries to learn. Okay, thank you, Sele. David? The model was very good. I learned a lot. I found the method amazing. We had a very happy thing. It was very good to have a very brave teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Freddy, the five words. Solo díganme las cinco palabras, chicos. 
Different. Different. Good. New. Great. And funny. Thank okay. You, Thank you. Thank you, Freddy. Danny? Danny? Mute it. Hey, energetic, optimist, brown, grateful. Okay, Catherine? Perdón, teacher. Eh, solo cuatro dice, teacher. A ver. Para mí fue fun, good mm, y difficult. Tres son. Ok, thank you, mm. Nuria. Sí. Uh, creative, good, interactive, participatory. Thank you, Imelda. Imelda? Christy? Christy? Hazel? Okay, guys, perfect. So, well, I'm going to speak, okay? I'm going to speak right now. It's my time for your feedback. Uh, I want to congratulate all of you for your effort and your job and your work during the model. I felt like some of you really um, got the opportunity, tomar la oportunidad to, to be learning, de aprender. Siento que hay bastantes que aprovecharon las clases, en serio las aprovechaban, yo me daba cuenta que practicaban, participaban y todo. Sé que siempre hay alguna que otra persona que pues en realidad está por estar, que a veces se conectan y dejan el teléfono conectado y se van. Y pues cada quien es libre, ¿verdad?, de hacerlo. Pero para las personas que de verdad vivieron el módulo, espero que en serio les haya servido de aprendizaje. Que en serio hayan aprendido. Creo que la metodología es muy diferente. Eh, eso hablaba con el otro grupo hace rato. Yo les dije, chicos, o sea, yo no le voy a poner a que hagan ejercicios ni nada porque se me van a aburrir. Y creo que a veces es mucho más fácil que ustedes start to practice, start to be speaking a lot start to be talking a lot. That is the main idea of, this, of these things. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no los puse nunca y nunca me puse a hacer ejercicios con ustedes de la plataforma? Es por el simple hecho de que es ustedes, o sea, me quita tiempo. A mí me quita tiempo en mi clase. Por el motivo de que ustedes van a venir y me van a decir, sí, teacher, o sea, ya lo hicimos, ya lo hicimos. Entonces yo prefería aprovechar el tiempo de clase en otras cosas. Aprovecharlo en prácticas, lecturas y demás. Um, Tal vez no a todos les gustó la metodología que implementé, pero espero que a la mayoría les haya gustado la metodología, que les haya gustado un poquito lo diferente, el dinamismo que se trata de tener en este tipo de, de niveles. Y sobre todo, porque también lo hago de esa manera, porque ustedes vienen de su trabajo y vienen cansados. So, a mí me consta que ustedes vienen pues cansados, que tienen su día difícil, entonces no lo voy a venir a poner en una clase en la que al contrario se me vayan a estresar, sino una clase en la que se puedan sentir a menos. Right, so that is the main idea for me. Eh, como les decía, de verdad se ve mucho el aprendizaje en ustedes. Eh, los felicito, tengo tareas buenísimas. Tengo personas que cuando yo les decía documentos, me mandaban documentos, me los mandaban hasta decorados. Entonces yo veo los mínimos detalles y los mínimos esfuerzos que ustedes tienen. Como esfuerzos que en clase me decían, teacher, ¿pero esto qué es? Teacher, explíqueme eso. Tengo personas que me escribían aparte y me decían, teacher, mire, o sea, yo no entiendo, ayúdeme. Y eso es lo bueno, chicos, porque yo veo bastante el effort that you are using or that you are putting in. El esfuerzo que están poniendo, el esfuerzo que están teniendo. So that is the thing. Um, y de verdad, como les digo, o sea, me siento súper eh, orgullosa de cada uno de ustedes porque pues son personas que son un poquito mayores que yo y siguen tratando de aprender. So that is the thing, right? That is the idea. Hubiera creído que estuvieran los demás compañeros, pero pues ellos han de tener sus motivos para no estar. Entonces les agradezco a ustedes que sí están. Sí cumplieron hasta el último día con su asistencia y así tiene que ser en los siguientes módulos. Igualmente los invito a que reinscriban el, el módulo, inscríbanse para el siguiente. Imagino que ustedes mandaron sus papeles. 
y espero que igual el Sokyun Teacher, mis compañeros son súper buenos, son súper dinámicos también, entonces espero que sigan aprendiendo. Yo como le decía a mis, a mis alumnos, el, ciclo, el módulo pasado es, yo, no des, yo si bien es cierto los quisiera tener conmigo todo el tiempo, pero también ustedes tienen que tener y acostumbrarse a nuevos acentos, nuevas metodologías, nuevos métodos de enseñanza y demás. Pero en serio me encantaría tenerlos en un nivel avanzado, donde ya ustedes lo hablen bastante, porque voy a decir, wow, o sea, mis niños los empezaron súper eh, básico, pero ahora ya están hasta en avanzado. And they're making their best. So that is a thing that I always like regarding my teams and my groups, right? Y de corazón, chicos, yo espero que hayan aprendido. ¿Sí? ¿Alguien que quiera comentar algo o decir algo? ¿Estamos bien? Good. So, uh, as I told you, um, it's pretty important for me. And if you have any feedback or anything that you didn't like, if you would let me know, I would really appreciate it because I also use feedback to get better as a teacher. Y de corazón, chicos, les deseo lo mejor. Les deseo éxitos en su vida. Les deseo eh, que sigan metiéndole ganas. Échenle muchas ganas al día a día. Échenle ganas al idioma. Si pueden aprender después de inglés, aprendan otro. Apréntanlo y eso les va a servir mucho. Les van a seguir abriendo muchas puertas en su vida. No se desanimen y ahorita que pues les recomiendo tips, vean las películas en inglés, escuchen música en inglés. And if you need anything regarding any help or any, or you have any question regarding something, please just let me know and I'm there for you and I'm here for you to help you. Ok, yo aquí estoy para ayudarles chicos. De verdad fue un gusto y un honor para mí trabajar con ustedes. Les deseo éxitos a todos, les deseo que Dios los bendiga a todos, los cuide. Y sigan echando ganas, chicos. Y de verdad los felicito por haber terminado el módulo. So, congratulations for you guys. Espero que tengan una nice evening, guys. Fue un gusto y cualquier cosita y tienen mi número. ¿Ok? So, goodbye, guys. Take care. Cuídense. Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Un gusto, chicos. Bye, teacher.